All right, welcome to Dual Lumen Airway Device Station. These progressive skills are designed to evaluate your ability to provide immediate and aggressive ventilatory assistance to an apneic patient who has no associated injuries. This is a non-trauma situation and cervical precautions are not necessary. You are required to demonstrate sequ sequentially all procedures you would perform from simple maneuvers and adjuncts to placement of a dual lumen airway device of your choosing. You will have three attempts to place the combi tube. You must actually ventilate the mannequin for at least 30 seconds with each adjunct and procedure used. I will serve as your trained assistant and will be interacting with you throughout these skills. I will correctly carry out your orders upon direction. Do you have any questions? No. At this time, please take two minutes to check your equipment and prepare whatever you feel is necessary. Equipment is checked. Okay. Upon your arrival to the scene, you observe the patient as he goes into respiratory arrest. Bystander ventilations have not been initiated. The scene is safe and no hemorrhage or other immediate problem is found. A palpable carotid pulse is still present. All right, BSI, scene is safe. Scene is safe. I'm going to uh, adjust the airway, open up the airway, check to see if there's any breathing. There's no breathing. No breathing. I'm going to uh, take a nasopharyngeal pharyngeal airway, loop up this land. I'm going to uh, measure out the airway, correct it, measurement, place the airway. And I'm going to ventilate using a BVN with 100% O2, 15 liters per minute, once every five to six seconds. Okay. You have breath sounds are present equally and bilaterally and uh, no epigastric sounds. Medical control has ordered insertion of a dual lumen airway. I will take over ventilations. I need you to pre-oxygenate the patient for at least 30 seconds, uh, breathing once every five to six seconds. I'm gonna check my, uh, my equipment, call me tube. I have 85 milliliters of air in the pharyngeal cuff. I'm gonna inflate it. No holes, bulb's good. I'm going to now inflate the distal cuff at 12 milliliters. The holes, bulb's good. And now, spray some lubricant on the uh, distal end, distal cuff. Now when I say move off the side, I need you to move off the side and I'm going to place the, the adjunct. Okay. All right, move. I'm going to now do a Tongue jaw lift maneuver. I'm going to insert the combi tube okay. until the uh, teeth are between the two black lines. And I'm going to inflate the number one cuff, the pharyngeal cuff, 85 milliliters. And I'm going to inflate the distal cuff, 12 milliliters. I'm going to recheck my placement. Teeth are still between the two black lines. I'm now going to oxygenate the first tube. Check. Now, uh, can you uh, squeeze the bag and I'm going to check, hold on to the tubes. Yep. I'm going to check for lung sounds and epigastric sounds. You do not see the rise and fall of the chest and you only hear sounds over the epigastrum. Okay. I'm going to now uh, remove the BVM, place it on the number two. And can you oxygenate that, please? Yes. Recheck my lung sounds and my epigastric sounds. There is adequate chest rise, absent sounds over the epigastrum, and equal bilateral breast sounds. All right, keep on oxygenating. I'm going to now attach a, uh, a two-tamer.
Now we're gonna check my lung sounds, make sure I at least placement. Do you hear lung sounds and no epigastric sounds? Thank <laughs> you.